Sup guys, thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly sponsored by these guys, Headspace. Headspace has one mission, to improve the health and happiness of the world. With millions of users in over 190 countries, they're well on the way to doing that. Originally created by an academic who decided to cut short a sports science degree to become a monk. He went on a journey lasting 10 years, traveling through Nepal, India, Russia, Thailand, Burma, and Australia, before returning to the UK with a mission to share what he had learnt with as many people as possible. And if we look back in history, that does ring a bell. From the academic classrooms in the UK, all over the world, and back again, Headspace was first just an idea, then a small meditation consultancy to an events company, and through an epic business partnership between a monk and a tech whiz, we now have the app called Headspace. So guys, by all means, head down into the description box below, check out Headspace for free, join me and millions of other people around the world experiencing a greater sense of mental health and mental well-being through the use of Headspace. You owe it to yourself and you owe it to everyone around you to take some time and look after your mental health. Thanks for watching guys and enjoy the video. Hey, hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I'm your host Jacob McDonald and today we're looking at a Buccaneers player, which means he's a Super Bowl winner. He's a linebacker. His name's Devin White. We've seen him on the list a lot this series, actually, giving his opinions on other players. Here he is. He lands at number 28 on the list. And look, before we do crack into it, I do need to bring him up because I want to show you something. I want to, he's got this 45 around his neck. It's the first time I've noticed it, but at first glance, I'm assuming that means that he plays with number 45 on the field. I haven't recognized him wearing this necklace yet, but I have seen a number 55 around the neck of another guy by the name of Zadarius Smith. Now, have these guys been to the same jeweler, or am I seeing things? I'm not quite sure. Maybe we'll find out. It is time to roll the intro, and let's crack into it. Mr. White indeed. How are you, mate? When I'm on the field, I want 45 to stand out like if I, don't, I ain't doing nothing else right. You he wants 45 to stand out. I'm assuming he's talking about the 45 on the back of his top, not the 45 around his neck. Although he's most probably wearing both at the same time. So he's number 45. That means that Darius Smith must be number 55. But like I said, same jeweler or what? Or is that a thing you get when you win a Super Bowl? Right, we've got Alvin Kamara and his, his grills, his shimmering teeth. Local jeweler brings the bling for NFL players. This is back in 2010. But that's not the player's number. We don't want the jersey, we want the necklace, but I don't know that we're going to find it. I reckon it's just two guys wearing their number with pride. You're going to know I'm around that ball, I'm hustling, I'm giving it my all. You're going to know that I truly love the game. I think we'd better listen to the entire sentence once again. When I'm on the field, I want 45 to stand out like if I, don't, I ain't doing nothing else right, you're going to know I'm around that ball, I'm hustling, I'm giving it my all. You're going to know that I truly love the game. Hey, I'm about to show y'all some physical football today. Let's go, baby. Yeah. yeah. Has he got his LSU pads underneath? That's what Fournette has as well. <laughs> Look at Tom Brady, he's loving it. <laughs> Look at Brady. Brady's just chilling. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Oh, no, he said, yeah, let's go, baby. Was that Tom Brady that said that? Hey, I'm about to show y'all some physical football today. Let's go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> let's go, baby. Look at Brady. Fuck, he's the man. Cannot wait to see these guys play this year, man. Cannot wait to see them gonna be great i am backing them to to do the business for a second year on the road they do have some of my oof, my favorite players in the team there's no if ands or buts about it i love the bucks head. Yeah. and i love a bit of old head tom brady old head old head and i bet devon white loves tom brady too i already told that running back let his mama love him because i don't i like devon white man he's fast as hell <laughs> Is he? Your ass, boy. I'm telling you. His speed is rare. Well, it doesn't take much for me to want to look up some stats, and that's exactly what's just happened here. To hear there's a linebacker who has rare speed. 
He's speaking my language. He's a young buck, no pun intended. I literally, that just came out of my mouth and I, wow. Wow. Not bad. 23 years of age, six foot tall, 237 pounds. Let's say it's 110 kg. Pick number five in the first round of the 2019 draft. I probably would have even seen that pick. I would have. There'd be a reaction on this YouTube channel of me watching Devin White getting picked. Do I remember it? No. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Super Bowl champion, played at the LSU Tigers, which, which I did say at the start of this video due to the fact I saw some purple and yellow at the bottom of his sleeve, which I need to check. Uh, running back Leonard Fournette had 12 carries, 59 yards, also had 5 catches for 19 yards. Uh, he did it all with LSU shoulder pads under his jersey. Not to be outdone, linebacker Devin White had 15 total tackles, 9 solo, and a momentum-changing fumble recovery to start the second half. To this day, Fournette continues to wear his LSU shoulder pads under his NFL jersey. You can see the purple and gold standing out among the red, pewter, and white of the Buccaneers' colour scheme. They haven't mentioned white doing the same thing, but he apparently does. And as far as rear speed in the linebacker position, yeah, he's got it. 4-4-2 for the 40-yard dash, not 39 inches for the vertical jump, 9 foot 10 inches on the broad jump, 22 reps on the bench press. Put this guy in at running back, for God's sake. What are you doing? Well, I'll tell you what he's doing. He's balling out. He got 140 combined tackles last year in 15 games, 97 solo, 43 assisted, and nine sacks. Now that is a season and a half. Four passes deflected, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery for two yards. Postseason, three games played, three games started, 38 tackles. 38 tackles in three games during the postseason, when it counts. Now that, my friends, has to be part of the reason why he is indeed in the top 30 in the league. Devin White, well done, best of luck. Let's enjoy this video. Oh, he flies around all right. The speed makes him like impossible to stop. He runs a 4-4 as a linebacker. That's 230, 245. Let's see what Devin White does. 4-4-2. Rich. <laughs> oh, look at it. Look at this beast. And better yet, look at this camera angle. Giddy up. Every player on this list is fast. So what makes Devin White different? I was fast from the very moment I was drafted, you know, from the very moment I probably came on my mama womb. I'm like that. That's my name, no. Mr. I'm like that. Well, I don't know. I say the number one play uh, was probably when we was playing the Raiders. And it was fourth down. And the play broke down. I seen Derek Carr running. I'm in the middle of the field. And I just take off because I knew he was going to try to get to the sticks. Oh, like, what a hit. It ain't nothing standing between me and him. And when I get to him, I want him to know I got to him. I probably had better plays than that, but I feel like that's the one that described me every day. Oh, yeah. Really that is a clean... Well, you'd call it a tackle in the game of football, but as far as rugby's concerned, it's called a shoulder charge. And these days, it's completely illegal uh, for good reason. <laughs> but, but in this video, I'm a rugby player reacting to football. And look, if Derek Carr didn't uh, kick himself for not sliding then, I'd be surprised. Dropping gets the pass. Oh, it's intercepted. Picked off. Oh, by this is what you want. You want this guy as a linebacker with an interception with space in front of him. Has he had a pick six yet? He has not, but he has had an interception return for 28 yards. We're probably going to see it right here. Devin White to the 40. Shops a guy out of his way. In the first game of the playoffs against the Saints. Then it was the Packers. Then it was the Chiefs. Hey, inside the 30. Devin White down the sideline. In the Saints game. Fuck, he's fast. He pick. And like most guys, like get a pick, like they just get whatever they can, get down or get out of bounds. He intercepted the ball and he starts running as if he's a running back. <laughs> and like he, uh, he stiff armed one yes, of the boy. six receivers. It was like it was such a vicious stiff arm. I don't know if the guy fell, but it was like it was like on some disrespectful stuff. And I'm like, yo, you gotta chill, man. Like this guy got a family. <laughs> like you can't be out here trying to disrespect guys like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he loves it. He absolutely loves it, and I love him. I mean, he'll not gonna lie. Lick on you if you're not paying attention. Didn't get the pleasure of seeing him on the list last year. I feel like we all missed out. Where are you going, CMC? He's the best in the league. Yes, sir. When he sees something, he trusts his eyes. And he explodes the ball. And, and you watch it on tape and you're like, man, how can you go that fast? 
Okay, now when I see a cutback like this, when I see a, a duke, well, it's not a duke because he doesn't have the ball in his hand, but it screams running back, right? It screams running back, but no. Passed it to somebody and not missed the tackle, but no, it's like he... No, he's going for a sack. He sees, recognizes, and then he's going to attack and destroy. Uh, I need to be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I need one too. Gotcha. Got gotcha. going to get it first, me or you. We feed off each other. I think that's what we try to do most is just, you know, make plays, just rub plays in the backfield as much as we can. This is just the start for him. He got his first ring and he can't stop and keep going now. Intercepted, picked off of the end zone. We're the champions of the world. Devin White, what a great second season. I wouldn't be surprised if Devin was looked at as the best linebacker in the league for the next decade. Damn. Now that's coming from a fellow Bucks player. He may be slightly biased, but tell you what, guys, from what I've seen so far, I'd second that. I just wish the Bucks were my bandwagon team from the beginning, but they're not. They are my second team, possibly third, maybe even fourth, but they're up there. I like the Bucks. I do. I love Tom Brady. I love the fact that Antonio Brown's playing for them. I love Leonard Fournette playing for them. I like Mike Evans. And look, guys, all I really need to say is that I've got about six Bucks players on my fantasy football team. So <laughs> I went in hard. Uh, I think they're going to be successful this year. You know, I, I hope they're going to be successful this year, but not, but just not quite as successful as my Jacksonville Jags. Is that wishful thinking? Could well be. Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.